Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and a lot of people ask me what I think about the K-Bar Spork. Now, I am a big fan of sporks. A lot of people know that I have gone through a lot of different eating tools. And before we get started, let's just talk about what a spork is. What a spork is, is it is a eating utensil that has a spoon and a fork in the same utensil. Okay, so it's one utensil that contains both a fork and a spoon. And the more traditional version is like this purple Sea to Summit, which happens to be Caroline's favorite spork. And what it is, is it's the bowl of a spoon with fork tines on the end. Uh, this is more of your traditional style spork. Usually when you talk about a spork, this is what people imagine in their heads. And the reason I am not a fan of these kind of, of sporks is because what you essentially have is you have a fork that doesn't work very well because the tines aren't deep enough, right? And so it's hard to stab into a piece of chicken and hold it because those tines are so shallow it doesn't dig, dig in deep enough to really get a good bite. And because the tines go into the bowl of the spoon, it le everything leaks out. And so essentially what you have is you have a not so good fork attached to a not so good spoon. And it's just not my favorite design. Now Caroline really likes this fork and we have tried different variants of it. This is a dollar store variant where the tines protrude out of the bowl a little bit, but again, it has the same problems. Uh, this one's a little bit different. This one's unique in that the tines are on one side. And so eating with the fork side isn't very good, but the spoon kind of works a little bit better, a little bit. Uh, still not my favorite. We have a long handle option for mountain house meals and everything. And again, the tines just, they're not deep enough. When you're eating the mountain house chicken and mashed potatoes, to stab that chicken, especially at the angle of this thing, it's hard to stab the chicken. The mashed potatoes are clumps together so that's easy to eat even with a regular fork but any kind of liquid it's really hard to eat soup with this spork. Uh, the absolute worst eating tool that I have experienced and this is of course my personal opinion is the CRKT eating tool and the reason I don't like it is because you have these two tines up front that don't really grab onto anything. Uh, anything you stab typically falls off and then because it's designed to attach to your keychain and carry with you, it's flat. It's very flat, meaning the spoon portion doesn't have a very big bowl. And that shallow bowl doesn't hold anything. The two tines for the fork don't really hold anything. And this is just my least favorite option of all of these. And so another version of a spork where the spoon and the fork are in one single utensil is this light my fire spork which has the fork on one side and the spoon on the other side. And these are much better in my opinion because you do have a real fork. Uh, when you need to stab something you're stabbing it with a real fork and it has a real spoon. When you are eating soups and broths, you can scoop up a heavy amount of broth and eat your soup the way soups intended to be eaten. Uh, I really like this system. The problem with the plastic ones is that we've broken quite a few of them. We've broken like three or four of them. And so I have bought a titanium version. And this was my go-to spork for a really long time. This was the only utensil that I carried for a long long time and I really like it. The issues arose when I would go to uh, mix a drink and so I would mix a drink with a spoon and then I would go to eat with the fork and my hand would get all nasty from stirring my drink <clears throat> or I'd be eating something like a lasagna or something where I would need the knife and then I would need the, the spoon to scoop up and everything was getting gross, everything was getting my hands messy. And so I really didn't like that portion of it. But again, for how light it is, for how much it can do, for having a real spoon and a real fork, I really liked it. But as I started broadening my horizon, uh, I found this Ozark Trail multi-tool. 
And what this is, is it's essentially a fork and a spoon that attach together so they travel as one unit, but they come apart and you have a dedicated spoon and fork. And the fork has a can opener and a bottle opener and a corkscrew for opening bottles of wine. So that's handy in a kitchen setting as well when you're bringing stuff to eat with you. And then the spoon has an awl, which I don't know why you would need an awl, and then a knife. And I really like that the knife is on the spoon because I can use the fork to stab into my chicken or my steak and the knife to cut. And this was actually a really good option. I really like this. Uh, I still really like it, honestly. I just found better things. But this works really well. I really liked it. And the only thing I did not like about it <clears throat> is that the fork sticks out and everything catches on it. So when you put it in a pouch, that fork stabs into everything. Uh, when you put it in your pocket, you either put it in this way and it goes into your pocket really well and then it snags on the fork trying to get it out of your pocket or you put it in this way and then it snags everything going into your pocket and then it's smooth coming out and so you have to pick which way you want to battle with it and it just it catches on everything and it's just not my favorite thing to carry but it is very handy to use I really like this a lot uh, this is my backup option for so if I'm go to a restaurant or if I go through a drive-thru and they don't include silverware I keep this in the truck with me and so then I found my favorite now this is my all-time favorite this is the Yuko switch and what you have is you have a dedicated spoon a dedicated fork that fit together so they snap together to become one unit they come apart you have a spoon and a fork you have a knife with a serrated edge I sanded down the serrations on that one so I bought a new one to show you what it looks like when you buy it new so it has serrations on the knife so that you can use it to cut again it's on the spoon side so I can use the fork to stab into my chicken or my meat and cut a really good option for a knife spoon combo but what makes it unique what makes it special is you can attach them together and they become a long handled fork and a long handled spoon and so when you're eating those mountain house meals right out of the bag, I don't like cutting the bag short uh, because what you end up doing is you lose the Ziploc ability. And so I like to keep them intact. I use a long handled spoon to eat and then I throw all my garbage inside the empty mountain house meal. I Ziploc it shut and that becomes my garbage bag, right? That way I can pack it out and leave no trace. And so I really like having the long handle capability and I just, this is my favorite eating tool. This is my favorite eating utensil. This is the one that I bring with me all the time. Actually, this one is. Uh, the reason I sanded off the serrations is because it's a lot more comfortable to use the spoon that way. And also the serrations kind of tear up bread when you're using it for peanut butter and jelly and uh, spreads. And so I sanded down the serrations and made it smooth and it works way better as a butter knife without the serrations and so I really like the Yuko switch it is my favorite another option is the to-go bites which is essentially the exact same thing minus the knife capability and it is shorter but you do have a dedicated fork a dedicated spoon they all come together in one nice package uh, this is it's a really good option as well, but I still like the durability and the heavy use option of the Yuko. I just feel it's a lot more durable than the to-go bites, but the to-go bites is still a really good option. And so that brings us to the K-Bar. Now, as you've probably realized, it has the tines and bowl on the same side, which I am not a fan of. But the thing that makes it even worse is one of the... One of my favorite sporks, if I have to use a spork with the bowl and tines together, is the uh, Snow Peak Titanium. This is Caroline's spork. This is the one that she really likes. If you compare the size, the, the Snow Peak is so much bigger. Even the dollar store version is so much bigger than the K-Bar. 
right? And so for a big, heavy, large handle, it has the tiniest little head and tiniest little bowl. Uh, the tines are very tiny. Everything about the eating part of this spork is very tiny. And I do not like that. It makes it very difficult to eat. Uh, it's not my favorite. The other thing is the knife inside the handle. This is actually really good. I actually really like this knife. Uh, the serrations are spaced out quite a bit. And so it really does well at cutting chicken. I haven't used it on steak. But cutting chicken and different meats, it's actually really good burger. Uh, it's really good. I really like it. I also like the tip on it. So when you're stabbing pickles or something to eat, I really like that tip. And so the knife portion of the K-Bar is probably the best knife I've seen that comes with something like this. Uh, I actually really like it a lot. And I like that it sheaths inside the handle. So I don't have to worry about it poking. I don't have to worry about putting it somewhere. It's all contained inside the handle. That portion is really good. I really like that portion. I just wish that this bowl and the tines were bigger. If they were the same size as the Snow Peak, it'd be a really good option. But as is with how tiny it is, I'm just not a fan. So with that being said, in that comment section down below, tell me what is your favorite eating utensil? Uh, what one do you bring with you everywhere you go? Let me know in that comment section. Make sure to thumb up this video if you like it. And I can't wait to see you on my next video.